Kessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. The crowd is filling up the dome and we're just about ready for the Texas El Paso Miners and the Grambling State Tigers. We've got a great bowl game lined up for you here. This one looks to be an incredible gridiron matchup. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Grambling State looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. Yo, there's only one winning team today. Tigers all the way. That's who I'm taking. Kirk, nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. And it is good. Texas El Paso in a four wide set. He's looking for his man. Found his man. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, UTEP. The wide out makes a big catch there. This defense is really giving up a lot of yards in every game. <laughs> you call that a lot? I call it a ton. They couldn't stop a peewee team from scoring. First down, look at the throw. He lets it go. That's incomplete. Wow, you don't get any more open than that. Right now, the quarterback cannot believe he just missed his man. That had big plays. Right, second Written and 10. Ball, ball on the 41 it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Ace backfield. McDaniel back to throw. He tosses it short, and it falls incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throw is improved. But as you can see, he's up one yard himself. The Miner come out in the ace formation. On play action, surveys the field. And he's got him on the run. Fowler with the tackle at the 20-yard line. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. They're in the red zone. Texas El Paso lines up with three receivers. They connect again. And he's taken down at the two. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. McDaniel hands it off. Well, that's how you get it done when you're down by the goal line, coach. When you're close like this, you tell your guys, get in there. They'll we'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. First and ten. The Miners come out in the ace formation. Setting up the play action. He passes it to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Miners. They made a great connection there for the touchdown. Fourth is fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Three wideouts here. Off the left. He's tackled at the 25. So they pick up the first on the option play. How about the play of this young man here coming through on a tough fourth down play like this? First and ten. Looking, rolls to the right. He decides to run with it. Walker runs out at the 24-yard line. Second it's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 24. They line up in the shotgun. Walker set to go to the air. Looks, throws a bullet. Caught. Tackle at the six-yard line. 
That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. They'll work from the shotgun. Looking, he throws it, and it's incomplete. Just a bit off target there, Kirk. Yeah, he won't miss that pass too often. He loves firing those in there. Second They're goal. at the six. Ball on the six Second goal. down. Yeah. Rambling State lines up in a double tight set. Walker hands it off straight ahead. Gibson brings him down at the three. Three-yard gain by the running back. For the three-yard line. We've got third and goal. Yeah. Rambling State lines up with three receivers. Touchdown, Rambling State. The quarterback has whirled his way into the end zone. First and ten. The defense comes out in the dime package. Drops back to pass. Throws it. He snags it. Morris loses it. It's picked up by the defense. And he tackles him hard at the 34. And that fumble recovery may get him. Ball on the nine yard line. The Tigers line up in an I formation. Walker back to throw. Throws it. And he came down with it. What a catch. And a nice catch by the receiver for the Tigers. That always has been the rule. The kick is up, and it's good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. At three points before the half ends. It's up, and they tack on three points. We've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Texas El Paso, 24. Red zone. Let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Touchdown, Tigers! And he just found the end zone today. And as a defense, the last thing you want to do is give up rushing touchdowns to the quarterback. The Miner come out in the ace formation. He unloads it. Touchdown, Miners! A great throw, and that's his second touchdown catch of the game. The quarterback knew exactly what... The defense is in the nickel. Walker, back to pass. So, with the interception. Brewer tackles him at the 41-yard line. Six. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. The minor come out in the ace formation. He looks to throw on first down. He delivers. And it's the senior. The five. Touchdown, UTEP. And for that young man, it's Second from their own 36-yard line. On the 36 Second yard line. Grambling State sets up with four receivers. Hold on, left. Hut. Hut. Drops back to pass. Gives a little pump fake. He passes it. And it's complete on the run. Great play to keep his feet in and get the first down. It takes tremendous concentration and field awareness to make a play like that. And the quarterback put in the place where only his receiver could catch it. Nice throw. First, first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Texas El Paso has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Looking, lets it fly. And it's incomplete. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by second the coach. They line up the at the 29-yard line. So it's second and ten. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Walker drops back. Surveys the field. He's looking for his man. 
got it to his receiver. So they go to the air and they pick up yet another first down. They've shown no problems moving the ball on this drive. This offense is moving the ball very well, and they're building some beautiful momentum along the way. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Walker, back to pass. He's looking, darts it to the right. Got him again. Sal with a takedown at the one. How about that play? Well, it was a good pass, a good catch, and they are keeping the defense off balance by throwing on first down. Absolutely right. They put everyone up on the line. Thompson on the inside, and down he goes at the one-yard line. They like to run this fast-paced kind of offense. Yeah, and sometimes you get the defense to panic and waste the timeout. Grambling State comes out with two tight ends. Leaps right, breaks one, touchdown, Grambling State. And guys, what do you think of that touch by two scores? The Miners line up in a goal line formation. Set. Cut. 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 He'll get it again. Touchdown, UTEP. There's number two on the day. Oh, on the 26 yard line. Texas El Paso has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Throws. He has them on the fly. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need a double team up. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. Walker running the option. He's got the two. So we take a moment to check it. They'll run it up at the 11. It's third and five. He's backfield. McDaniel still has it. Throws it. Touchdown, UTEP. And the defense has got to find a way to connect every other play. You got to keep the ball in this guy's hands. Walker comes to the line, three wide, looking, he delivers, and it pays off, touchdown. I hate to downplay this quarterback, but that deep. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. And that was a long, long field goal. Boy, that kick would sure kick the football. The offense will start the 10 yard line. First and 10. Walker on first down, he lets it fly, and he's got him on the run, at the 30, and they finally push him out at the 41, and the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does, and he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First and 10. Walker lines up with four wideouts. Walker drops back on first down. Fires deep down the right side, and got him! Touchdown, tie, ball game. Hold everything, folks, there's a marker down. Let's get the call. All sides, on the defense. Wow, this has been just a wild game. Unbelievable. They're just an extra point away from taking the lead in this game. The coach is setting up for a great finish. Oh, yeah. With over a minute left on the clock, anything can happen. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he converts the extra point. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Grambling 56, Texas El Paso 55. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends it downfield. Morris 
Fields it at the three. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? A field goal or touchdown can win it, Coach. The time is a huge factor at this stage of the game. This should make for an exciting finish. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here's the Colt players of the game. Texas El Paso comes out in the shotgun. McDaniel to the air on first down. Complete. Loss of a yard. Second, Second and 11 coming up. Ball of the 20. 20 yard line. McDaniel drops to throw. Over the middle. And it's caught. Tackle at the 27. Texas El Paso will take their second time out of the half. Third down, four yards to go. Ball on their own 27. The Miners line up with a single setback for you. McDaniel steps back to pass. And this one's going to get intercepted. And this could be a big return. Morris with the tackle at the 12. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. You can't throw interceptions like that. You just can't. And that's the end of the game. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? Without question, this is a tough loss for these players. UTEP played a great game, and they should be proud. But I was not impressed with the way they worked the clock towards the end of the game. Wiser play calling and better clock management, in my opinion, would have made a difference in this game. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time. Thank you for attending today's ball game.